in that planetarium. Whoa, what is that? What is that? So this is what we believe is the largest um, 3D mural of the yeah. sun in our solar system. Yeah. <laughs> so on, on planet Earth, it, is, uh, yeah. uh, it was actually commissioned by one of our directors, an artist named Eric Burke, who does murals around the world. Uh -huh. I love San Reno, and he's done installations at the Nevada Museum of Art. He uh, was commissioned to come in. The sun rotates as well. Yeah. So fun stuff. Yeah. And I wish we could have all of our. Um, oh, you can take that one if you want to. That's for you guys. Okay. okay. Um, I wish we could have all of our interactives and touch stuff. Yeah. Uh, kind of a no touch deal today. Yeah. If I can not touch Unfortunately, so it's I'm okay. sorry about that. I wish. Yeah. But please come back and visit. That's Vega, another one in that triangle. And there's a, a, a star that's reached the end of its life. It's called the Ring Nebula. And it actually puffs out shells like that. So these are all pictures of things we've taken around the sun. That's where stars are being born in this cloud of wow. The Lagoon Nebula. That one I like to call, my wife actually calls it, is the Upside Down Rubber Ducky Nebula. <laughs> you see the head of the rubber ducky in the yeah. bottom? They actually call it the swan nebula. That's where stars are being born and new solar systems like our solar system. Yeah, that's yeah. that's ours amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Hey, you it. Actually, you know, it's funny. I didn't show uh, this one, um, Uranus, or uh, do you know what Uranus used to be called? It's named George by the, the guy that discovered William Herschel and his sister Caroline. Oh, wow. They had a friend named George who was the king. <laughs> so they thought it would be a good name. I thought it was a pretty cool name, too. That's another place where stars are being born. And the Scorpion, a big red star with a group of a cluster of stars next to it. And then you've got places like the Big Dipper, where you can see I think that one. Wow! The bend of the handle, do you see two stars right there? Yeah. So you got the handle and the dipper. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. And then you that's like five out for, but it's actually six stars. Is it cool? Wow! Yeah, <laughs> Six stars together, it's pretty cool. Look at that, what's that? Like yeah. Wow. And that's in the Big Dipper. And this is one of my favorite galaxies, the Andromeda nice. Galaxy. Closest one, big one to us. Yeah. And there's a galaxy that has a black hole. Actually, probably most galaxies have black holes in the center. But this is one we were able to take a picture. So those are all things we got to take pictures of using the Slew Telescope. Oh, okay. That's so cool. And uh, if you're interested in that, it's a pretty cool program. It used to be like $300 a year to do it for students in the astronomy classes. Mm -hmm. But they've created during quarantine a new thing where you can get a membership for $50 a year. Okay. And use World Class Telescope. So we'll see if we can pull up some of those. These are some pictures we took. Look, Carson. Mm-hmm. Oh, see the oil over. Oh, 